Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover the top seven scientific discoveries of 2025 breakthroughs that pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and reshaped how we understand life, space, and the universe. Each of these discoveries marks a turning point, changing not just science, but what may come next. We begin with fusion energy, where scientists found a way to design reactors 10 times faster. A 70-year problem in magnetic confinement fusion, how to confine energetic particles efficiently in complex stellarator fields has been solved by physicists from the University of Texas at Austin, Los Alamos, and Type 1 Energy. They derived a shortcut using symmetry-based mathematics that designs leak-proof magnetic geometries about 10 times faster than conventional numerical optimization without sacrificing accuracy. This sharply reduces the time and cost of engineering new stellarator reactors, potentially accelerating the path toward commercially viable fusion power and making advanced configurations more accessible to labs and companies worldwide, according to a report in SciTech Daily. Next, we move to superconductors as researchers achieved the first reproducible room temperature breakthrough. A Chinese research group reported reproducible superconductivity between 271 to 298 K in a lanthanum scandium hydride, compressed to about 195 to 266 gigapascals in a diamond anvil cell. Measurements showed zero electrical resistance and magnetic field-dependent critical temperatures across 13 independent runs, with X-ray diffraction confirming a hexagonal crystal structure. While the ultra-high pressures limit immediate applications, the work is hailed as the first convincing demonstration of room temperature superconductivity and a crucial proof of principle guiding the search for ambient pressure high-tech materials. Third, we turn to CERN, where physicists briefly turned lead into gold. The ALICE collaboration at CERN declared the first quantitative measurements of nuclear transmutation from lead to gold in ultra-peripheral heavy ion collisions. When two lead-208 nuclei pass close without touching, intense electromagnetic fields can knock out three protons, forming gold-205 or gold-203 nuclei. Alice found the LHC can briefly create gold at peak rates of about 89,000 nuclei per second, albeit for fractions of a second, before they fragment on beamline hardware. The result is scientifically important, modern alchemy, improving understanding of photon-induced reactions and nuclear structure, not a practical way to manufacture gold. From particle physics, we shift to space with a possible biosignature detected on exoplanet K2-18b. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers analyzed starlight passing through the atmosphere of K2-18b, a sub-Neptune 120 light-years away, and reported methane and carbon dioxide features consistent with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and potentially a water-ocean surface. They also saw tentative signs of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule on Earth produced by marine life, though the signal is weak and contested. Published in Astrophysical Journal Letters, the study marks the most intriguing candidate biosignature yet detected on an exoplanet. While scientists stress that non-biological explanations must still be rigorously tested. Next comes computing as quantum systems move closer to real-world use. IBM has moved toward practical quantum computing by demonstrating a quantum-centric supercomputer architecture that tightly couples multiple quantum processing units with classical CPUs and GPUs. Rather than only chasing raw qubit counts, the 2025 milestone focuses on modular chip networks to reach the 4,000 qubit scale integrated with error mitigation software and classical workflows. This hybrid design aims to make quantum resources callable like accelerators for chemistry, optimization and materials problems, signaling a shift from lab prototypes to early, 
problem-specific quantum advantage in industry and research. After that, we look at medicine, where CRISPR enabled a rapid, personalized treatment. Building on the first approvals of CRISPR-based medicine for sickle cell disease and V. thalassemia, 2025 saw a landmark personalized in vivo CRISPR treatment for an infant with fatal CPS1 deficiency. A multinational team designed, regulated, and delivered an LNP-packaged CRISPR therapy via IV infusion in only six months, correcting the metabolic defect in liver cells. This case, reported in the New England Journal of Medicine, showcases how genome editing can be rapidly tailored to ultra-rare conditions, raising hopes for N-of-one medicines while sharpening debates over cost and ethics. Finally, we end with fertility science, where AI is improving sperm selection. Around 15% of couples are affected due to infertility globally. While IVF and related techniques offer hope, however, success rates remain limited. Existing computer-assisted sperm analysis, or CASA tools, mainly support visual assessment and statistics, with little impact on fertilization outcomes. Researchers from UIT, the Arctic University of Norway, the University Hospital of North Norway and Norinova, have developed Spermatile, a new CASA system combining AI, label-free microscopy, and microfluidics. The technology identifies and filters high-quality star sperm while maintaining reliable concentration, aiming to significantly improve fertilization success in IVF, IUI, and ECSI. The team is now seeking partners, investors, and licensing opportunities. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.